वेन वी टॉक अबाउट हिंदुइज्म सर एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल ये आता है कि आप जिस भी धर्म की बात कर लें धर्म की बात सब जगह होती है जैसे कि हम जब कृष्ण भगवान को भी सुनते हैं तो धर्म की बात आती है कि तुम अपने धर्म का पालन करो फल की चिंता मत करो हम बचपन से ये सुनते हुए बड़े हुए हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट जब हम महिलाओं की बात करते हैं तब सर एक बहुत बड़ा हम ड्रास्टिक चेंज देखते हैं कि पुरुषों का धर्म ये है महिलाओं का धर्म ये है तो सर ये पहली बार डिफ्रेंशिएट कैसे हुआ और प्लस जो आपने अपनी किताबों में महिलाओं को लेख किया है उनमें जब हम शकुंतला के बारे में पढ़ते हैं सर तो उनकी जिंदगी बहुत ट्रेजिक सी स्टोरी रही है मतलब शुरुआत से लेकर जब भी हम उनकी चीज़ देखते हैं तो बहुत सारी चीज़ें ऐसी दिखाई पड़ती हैं कि यार बहुत 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 कुछ था इनके साथ तो सर ये धर्म पहली चीज़ क्या है प्लस महिलाओं से और जो आपने अपनी किताब में जिन महिलाओं का उल्लेख किया है सर उनके बारे में आप बताइए कि उनसे धर्म कैसे एसोसिएट हुआ या उनने कैसे डिसाइड किया कि ये हमारा धर्म है वेरी डीप क्वेश्चन तो एक योर टाइम सर पहले मैं धर्म के बारे हाँ, में बात बिल्कुल श्योर सर सी द गुड थिंग इज दैट इन अवर सेक्रेट टेक्स्ट वॉट इज धर्म इज क्वाइट एलेबरेटली प्रेजेंट वेदों में है स्मृतियों में है और इतिहास पुराण में है काफी चीजें क्रिप्टिकली लिखी हुई रहती है स्पेशली इन द वेदास एंड इन दी स्मृति सो उसको समझना काफी कठिन है डायरेक्टली लेकिन महाभारत में ही you know, लिखा है आदि पर्व आदि पर्व के जो पहला चैप्टर है सब पर्व कहते हैं उप पर्व उसको अनुक्रमणिका पर्व कहते हैं तो उसमें ये क्लियरली लिखा है कि इतिहास पुराण के माध्यम से हम वेद के अर्थ समझ सकते हैं सो दैट्स अवेलेबल फॉर एवरीबडी और इतिहास पुराण में देखे स्पेशली इन महाभारत वॉट इज धर्म वॉट इज अधर्म इज वेरी क्लियरली यू नो सिचुएशन के माध्यम से इट इज सम्स वी कैन से वी हैव टू डू सर्टेन थिंग्स जो कि शायद आगे चल के किसी को अधर्म लगे एग्जैक्टली बट फॉर दैट टाइम फॉर दैट पीरियड दैट वॉज धर्म करेक्ट नॉट जस्ट दैट इट्स इट्स कॉन्सेप्चुअली डिफाइन किया हुआ है धारयती इति धर्म मतलब दैट विच अप holds and keeps everything together without falling apart mm. that is dharma at the highest level mm. you know lekin the definition is given at multiple levels definition is also given at exception levels so there is you know in in one text acha you know the man has to do these these things if he is in grihastha ashram so that is one definition but it's not limited to that because achar the customs are not written that is also written finally the customs of a community take over it is also written that this will change at at certain level it will keep on changing kal kal se so it is a function of kala desha and vartamana we say you know space time and context so to very clearly understand we will have to go through all of that but to understand at a very basic at a highest level they have called it out clearly arth aur kaam the pursuit of artha and kama equally available to everybody that is one concern of dharma matlab my pursuit of artha and kama should not be should not hurt somebody else's pursuit of artha and kama that is the first you know concern of that how it achieves its different which means it's clearly saying that everybody can pursue their artha and kama to some extent not beyond beyond then it will you will hurt somebody else that is the first concern the second concern of dharma is that everybody has an equal opportunity to pursue a sacred journey so to protect the path for moksha for everybody is a concern this is we are talking about sanatan dharma where each and everybody has their own rights so it is hmm. fundamentally it is protecting two rights it is protecting artha kama 
pursuit for everybody. It is protecting sacred journey for everybody. That is the concern of Dhanya. Yeah. Now, why does this become complex? This is why Mahabharat will have to learn. Because you will always cross the line. It's, the line is very sukshma. That's why the word Dharma Sukshma. Dharma Sukshma. So, beyond this, detail may, see, in, if, you go, if you go to some Smriti, they, they would have written, okay, you have to perform this. In another Smriti, no, something else. So, all that should be read in a proper context, through a proper Guru. If we just pluck a shloka and then interpret, it, it doesn't work like that. So, complete reading is very essential. But conceptually, they ka jaye. So, it's, that's why it's called the Purushartha. Dharmartha Kama Moksha. Dharma should always be spoken about in the context of Artha Kama and Moksha. That's why the Chaturvida Purusharthas are always spoken together in all texts. Each and every detail is given to you, but you cannot pluck single thing from out of that. Yeah. You have to go through each and everything and then you should understand in yourself or in context of time, space and each and In the thing. past, this was not very complex huh. because communities were well organized. Abhi times are changing so rapidly. So that's why we have a crisis of understanding. Or you can say a person who is not, I think, authentic yes. to provide that yes. information is providing it's also that. providing that information. And also, there is an excessive reliance on text. Matlab, text, tradi India is a traditional society. You know, your knowledge has been passed to you in a context within your, you know, household. Mm -hmm. As long as that was stable, it did not create too many problems. People never went to texts or everybody did not go to the text. Going to the text is a last hundred years mm -hmm. phenomenon. But like in after the British colonialism, our life has not remained the old community life. Abhi hume, everybody has to go to the text because there is a lot of rebuilding that has to happen. So that exploration chal raha hai. So it's good that we are going to the text, but it is extremely important to remember that. Don't pluck one shloka and make, you know, interpretation interpretation out of it. You have to study the chapters fully, read what has been written in the past. Then you will get a good hold. That means you have to work in a whole, then only you can come to yeah. a conclusion. 